Okay. Okay. I think the first part here showed that prior to this showed that the when the electric current's going through a wire, the magnet interacts with it with the direction of rotation of the magnetic field follows the direction of flow of the current, but it's always between the poles. It doesn't want to turn sideways, edgeways. It always wants to stay like this, right in the middle of the magnet, all the way around. And then if you reverse the flow of direction of the current, it does this all the way around the wire. But what I'll show now is with these coils, I have my right hand wound coil and my left hand wound coil. I've got red in front on both, you see, and a negative to the back on both. What I want to show now is what the magnet does. The only way you can get the poles to interact is you have to wind it into a coil. It turns the magnetic field from just pushing the current going straight down into a wind as it goes around, which we all know this, but it's fun to demonstrate it. And I have a battery, if you can see. The positive will be to your left, and the negative is to the right. So I'm not going to change that. The battery's going to sit just like that. So I'm going to put the negative to the right with the coil on the far end and the front end is going to be the positive. So on this coil here, anytime you energize the current coming into one end of a right hand wound coil, that will always be the south. On the right hand wound coil where the current comes in, it'll be south and the magnet will uh, orient north towards it. On the other end where it comes out will always be north and the south of the magnet will orient towards it. This will be reversed and I'll show you. But right now, this should flip the magnet to north with it, with the right hand wound coil, with the current going away from you. One, two, three, and it flips the magnet around to the north. One, two, three, spins it right around. It pulls it kind of down because I'm above it a little bit. So down here on the other end, I'm gonna flip my wheel and Current's going away from you again. And one, two, three, it flips to the south. So that's obvious, and that's the way it works. And if I reverse the current and run it back through, this is gonna be the south, and this is gonna be the north, and the magnet will show that. So now, I'm gonna flip the wheel again, and I'm gonna reverse the current coming towards you. And that should have been no, that's the south, so it's going to want to pull. Yeah, it should pull the north over. But it's not. It pulled it over. My battery's uh, getting weak. It should spin it to the north going that way. There it goes. There it spun it, if you saw it. It spun it. I had a bad connection. So it spun it there. Here it's going to spin it the other way. It's gonna spin the south over. I've got the north over like it did here and south over. So it's the only way you can get the poles to, to interact with the, the electric current is with the coil. And, you know, that's how you make electricity with magnets is with coils. I can do it if you want, but this side is just gonna do the reverse. When the current runs in the left-hand wound coil and I can do it, that will always be a north. The left hand wound coil, let me get rid of the right hand. I'll go ahead and do it. I'm gonna put the negative far end to the negative of the battery. We're gonna run the current away from us. If you remember, this one's always south where the current goes in. This one's gonna be north where the current goes in. So the magnet should spin like this with the, uh, oops, with the south towards the coil. And let me energize it, one, two, three. And it <laughs> flipped it away. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. There, south to the coil. And over here, it should be north. One, two, three. Well, it does it. There, it did it. And like I said, if I reverse the connection, put the positive and run the current towards you, it now back here is going to be reversed. And the north or south should go to it. I didn't flip my wheel a while ago. South goes to it. If I move up here, the north will go to it. And it does. But that's the only way you can get the, the magnet to work with electric current for pole to pole, the direct 
uh, end of the poles towards the, the electric current is what the coil. It's weird how that works because the magnetic field is working opposite direction of where the coil is and pushes out that way, which causes this to rotate with it in this fashion rather than the single wire fashion it rotates in this fashion with the coil with the face against it so that's pretty wild okay i've got my right hand wound coil you can see the arrow there and my direction uh little wheel here here's the magnet inside a that uh half hemisphere plastic so it can spin freely what I've done, let me show you the setup so you understand. Over there, I have a microwave transformer on a switch, and I've just got a few windings of coil around the secondary. Just made my own little secondary, and it goes through a bridge rectifier here. So up above, I guess, let me take this off. Up above here, I've got the red wire hooked to the positive of the rectifier and the black wire hooked to the negative of the rectifier so down here the positive goes to the front of the coil the negative goes to the back so the juice is running that way through it comes in on the arrow side and goes out on the back side just wanted to set that up so you see it's just a little mess of wires to get me just enough current in this coil to turn the magnet without melting any wires that is what that's this is set up for and what I showed you before was how when the magnets here this is going to be a cell so the north is going to want to go this way and when I energize the coil you'll see it does that the north goes over and when I get to the middle of the coil the magnets going to go like this with north towards the camera and south away just like that, if you can see it, I think you can see it. And when I get to the other end, it's gonna go this way with south towards the coil, and it does. But what I wanna show about, the, the reason that does that is because on this side of the coil, the current's always going down, okay? So in front, it's gonna go down halfway through the coil. When it gets to the middle of the coil, it's even on both sides going down, so it turns it down. And then when it gets over here, it's going down, so it's pulling it down that way. That's how that works. How I know that is because now, I'm gonna take the magnet to that side, and on this side, the current's coming up because it's winding that way as it goes through the right-hand coil. It's coming up on this side to your left, and down on the side to your right. So I'll show you what that's gonna do. North will go against here. And as I turn this this way, it's still gonna stay with north to the coil like that. Just, and as I come around, it's gonna spin to go up. My wires are getting hot. If you see that, the north is to you now. And then the south goes over there. Because it's coming up in the back, pulling it up like that. And over here, it should be this way pulling the north up and it does it's pulling the north this way because it's coming up in the back and when i get to the middle it's coming up like that and when i get to the other side it's coming up so it's going like that so that's why the magnet spins but if you notice here it's going to be opposite than it is on this side the middles this spins down, this spins up, this spins south over, this spins north over. Down with the coil, down with the coil, down with the coil. That side, it's up with the coil, up with the coil, and up with the coil. So it's reverse. 
And if I run the current through, all this reverses. If I run the current through the other way, I mean, if I run positive there, negative there, all this reverses. And everything we just did here, including switching the direction of current, reverses with the left-hand wound coil because it does the opposite of this one. What side's going down, what side's going up. Anyway, that's why that does that. Laters.